Hey guys, uh, it's Chris here, and today I'm going to show you how to draw feathers on a duck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the, the back of the duck here, and kind of just bring that along like that. And then I'm going to do the head, which is probably about here, and the beak, which goes out like that, and then the front of the chest here. Now our duck is, uh, is going to be sitting, so usually the feathers on, a, on the back end of a duck uh, kind of go up like that. I'm going to follow this down just kind of like this and then bring it along the bottom because maybe he's sitting in a pond or something. Uh, now the most important thing to just remember when you're doing uh, feathers on a duck is uh, to make sure you're going with the contours of the, bo of the body. Remember his wing is going to be right about here. Um, so we're going to start off doing uh, just a couple squiggly lines just kind of right next to each other going like that and then a couple more like this. And it's interesting to make them look like they're overlapping, just make them a little bit smaller um, as you go along. So the biggest ones are going to be up in the front, just like that. And then they're just going to get smaller as they kind of go along. And another interesting thing is uh, you can do, use the same kind of technique for fish scales if you use uh, maybe like a, a green or something. Um, but if you really want to get uh, detailed, you can use a, a pencil or a pen. And um, if you want to draw feathers this way, you can do it as well. I'm just going to show you a, a larger version. And you can show the detail in each feather by doing lines like that, and then just kind of doing various uh, diagonal lines along the edge. But that's if you want to get really detailed. I'm just going to show you up here just kind of how to show the layout of the, of the wing. And you do the same thing along the entire duck. And then it kind of branches out at the end. Got a little eye here. Maybe I take my orange and kind of fill in his beak. And maybe he's in the water, so I'm going to take my, my blue marker and just kind of do a couple outlines like that. It's in a pond. And maybe there's a little bit of uh, water uh, grass or something. There you go, guys. That's how you draw a uh, feathers on a duck. Uh, good luck and stay creative.